Welcome to Sir Betterment, where we bring you financial, motivating, and betterment knowledge. In this video, we'll talk about Shark Tank's top 5 most successful deals. So without further ado, let's get into it. Over more than a decade, ABC's famous program Shark Tank has featured many hopeful business owners looking for investment. Some of the best episodes are informative, instructive, uplifting, and entertaining. But at the end of the day, this show is about making business deals. The sharks are just interested in making money. Therefore, it doesn't matter how impressive a presentation is or how promising a product seems to be. So which deals became the most successful after the lights die down and the cameras are off? In this video, we listed the top 5 most successful Shark Tank deals. On top of our list is everyone's favorite daddy, Scrub Daddy. Investment, $200,000 for 20%. Annual revenue, $50 million to $200 million. Sharks, I'm Aaron Krause from Philadelphia and I'm known as the daddy of the Scrub Daddy, the cutest but most high-tech scrubbing tool in the world. Today, I'm seeking a $100,000 investment in exchange for 10% equity in the Scrub Daddy business. It's the greatest kitchen scrubbing tool you ever used because Scrub Daddy completely changes its texture by just adjusting your water temperature. Let me show you how that works. Here I've got some hot water. Here I've got some cold water. When I immerse the Scrub Daddies in the hot and cold water, a complete transformation occurs. Now, to show you that, I've got 10-pound weights. Here, under the 10 pounds, it's soft and compressible, and that's like a sponge. That's for your general scrubbing applications. But here, check that out. It's hard and firm. That's gonna be for heavy-duty scrubbing applications. We burned on brown and gravy, tomato sauce, cheese, and mustard onto a glass stove top and a stainless steel pan. I'm gonna take the scrub die, and you're gonna see it's just gonna attack right into that burned on mess, scrubbing it right off. And remember, I'm just using water here. There's no chemicals at all, and it's gonna cut right through that. It won't scratch any of your surfaces, but it will clean them beautifully. Now, Scrub Dye is not really smiling anymore, so I'm gonna put him here in the warm water, and in just a couple seconds, voila. He's back to bright, fresh, and clean every time. One of the better bargains made by Lori Greener on the program was with a small company that makes kitchen sponges. Aaron Krause in Season 4 proposed a reusable sponge in the form of a happy face that hardens in cold water and softens in warm water. Krause had already had some entrepreneurial success after selling his line of buffing and polishing pads to 3M. However, he looked to be struggling to acquire momentum since he could not earn more than $100,000 in a single year with Scrub Daddy. Grainer offered $200,000 in exchange for a 20% ownership in the firm, and it sounded like a good fit for the queen of QVC. Scrub Daddy has generated over $100 million in revenue since the deal was made on Shark Tank, making it the most profitable deal in the show's history. Thanks to Lori's efforts, the product was also sold to Bed Bath & Beyond. Taking the number two spot on our list is the number two, Bombas. Investment $200,000 for 17.5%. Sales approximately $18.5 million. I'm David. And I'm Randy. Our company is Bombas, and we're here today seeking $200,000 in exchange for a 5% equity stake. Bombas are athletic leisure socks engineered to look better, feel better, and with a mission to help those in need. The mass market athletic sock hasn't changed in decades. Same basic colors, same styles, same cardboard feel until now. We spent two years on research and development and came up with seven substantial improvements to the athletic sock. The result is the most thoughtfully designed and comfortable pair of socks you'll ever wear. But the story of Bombas goes way beyond re-engineering the athletic sock. We learned that socks are the number one most requested clothing item at homeless shelters. That really stuck with us. So for every pair of socks we sell, we donate a pair. So we hope you'll join us to make better socks for a better world. By now, the world has heard of this unique company aimed at changing the world and giving back. However, 
Bombas was another struggling business before it became a global powerhouse. David Heath and Randy Goldberg first met in 2007 through their shared employment at a media firm. Although they had never shown much interest in socks before, their perspective changed after learning that socks are the most desired clothing in homeless shelters. The partners developed a business plan to sell high-quality socks and provide socks to people in need. Founders went to the Shark Tank to pitch their business in exchange for $200,000 and 5% ownership. Ultimately, they only had to give up 17.5% to get the shark of their dreams. Damon John's experience with his clothing company, FUBU, has made a big difference. The company's yearly revenues have reached $18.5 million, expanding at a pace of 300% per year. At number 3, we have the Squatty Potty. Investment, $350,000 or 10% shared with Kevin O'Leary. Gross sales, $150 million. I'm Bobby Edwards. This is my mother, Judy. And we're here seeking $350,000 for a 5% share Ooh in our Ooh simple product that changes lives. Simply put, we're in the business to help you do your business. <laughs> now, there's something that each and every one of you are doing wrong every day of your lives, and it's adversely affecting your health. Oh, that business. <laughs> the American <laughs> toilet. You know, there's very few people that realize that the toilet and the sitting position that it puts you in plays a big part in a lot of the colon issues that we have, such as constipation. Let me show you why. Anatomically, we have a muscle called the puborectalis muscle that wraps around the base of our colon, forming a kink. And when we're sitting on the toilet, this kink only partially relaxes. And only when we are in a squat position does this muscle completely relax and allows us to have a complete and full elimination of our waste. So we've come up with a perfect solution, Squatty Potty. You never know whether people will take you seriously when you market a product that claims to help you with the number two business, if you know what I mean. However, Bobby Edwards convinced Grainier and fellow shark Kevin O'Leary to invest $350,000 in his startup, Squatty Potty. The product made $12 million in sales in the first three months after the program aired. According to reports, the firm's overall revenues are above $150 million. At number four, we have the Simply Fit Board. Deal $125,000 for 18% equity. Sales, over $160 million. Hi, my name is Gloria Hoffman, and this is my amazing mother. Hi, I'm Linda Clark, and we're the co-owners and co-developers of the Simply Fit Board. We're here asking for $125,000 in exchange for 15% of our business. Now, whether we want to admit it or not, we all have problem areas, from the belly fat to the saddlebags, those dreaded muffin tops. You know, the six packs that we once had have now sadly turned into kegs. But we're battling the bulge with one simple product. Introducing the Simply Fit Board. Now we've combined cardio to burn off the fat while building muscles and core strength at the same time. Just standing on the board, you're strengthening your core, your back, you're toning your legs, and you're improving your balance. But let's face it, I want a slimmer waistline, but at my age, balance is just as important. We call this a balance board with a twist because we developed it using a special plastic that has a high level of lubrication in it that allows you to twist at the same time. Now, twisting not only works up your heart rate to burn off the fat, but it's one of the only exercises you can do that works every single muscle in your core. Now, there are literally hundreds of exercises that you can do on the board. Obviously, the basic twist, but you can also do squats, push-ups, and even planks. This product is a balance board designed to help individuals exercise and shape. Mother and daughter team Gloria Hoffman and Linda Clark marketed their invention in Shark Tank, hoping to gain investments. The duo initially offered 15% of their company for $125,000. After some back and forth with Lori and Kevin, the founders settled on O'Leary's $125,000 for 30% offer. 
the businessman inquired as to O'Leary's interest in teaming up with Grainer. This was met with a firm no from him. Hoffman and Clark agreed to sell 18% of the firm to Grainer in the end. As Simply Fit Board gained popularity, maybe O'Leary should have teamed up with Simply Fit Board's creator, Grainer. In just six years, the firm has expanded its retail distribution to 50,000 locations and generated retail sales of $160 million. Lastly, we have number five, the Comfy. Barbara 30% for 50,000 equity sales over $150 million. Sharks, I'm Brian Special. And I'm Michael Special. And we are the, the Special, Special Brothers. Brothers. <laughs> We're seeking $50,000 in exchange for 20% of our company. And as you're about to see and hear, we have a product that's even more memorable than our last name. And it's the holiday season, so we're going all in on this one. It's our big moment, bro. Let's you're go sure, for it. You're sure about this? I'm ready. Oh, boy. <laughs> Tis the season of the comfy fa la 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 It's the blanket that's a sweatshirt fa la 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 Stay warm and cozy It's the comfy The perfect gift for anyone on your list Get one now before they're all gone fa la 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 It's comfy time yeah! Wow. Nailed it! <laughs> Nailed it! Imagine, sharks, you're just waking up in the morning or you're driving home from work. It's cold outside, it's nasty. All you want is to be warm and cozy. You know, comfy! Well, that's exactly what the comfy is designed to solve. Because it's a blanket, it's perfect for lounging around the house in total luxury. And because it's a sweatshirt, it goes with you and keeps you warm wherever you are. Oh my God. The possibilities are endless and kids, they love the comfy. Brian and Michael Speciale offered $50,000 to the Sharks in exchange for 20% ownership of their company. The Comfy is a wearable blanket that follows your every motion, so you never have to be cold or uncomfortable. It features a high-low hemline, cuffed sleeves, a big front pocket, a large fluffy hood, and a large front pocket so that it won't drag when you wear it outdoors. They were so grateful for Barbara's investment that they ended up handing her 30% of the business. The popularity of the Comfy has led to the company's listing on QVC and distribution in stores, including Bad Bath and Beyond. Over 90,000 happy customers have given the Comfy 5 stars on Amazon. One of Barbara Corcoran's biggest buys to date has been the Comfy. So what do you think? Did this video inspire you to have your own business? Or did it make you want to watch more episodes of Shark Tanks? If you like success stories like these, make sure to watch the video on your screen. Or make sure to click the link below to learn more. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like. Also, click the subscribe button and notification bell for more videos like this. See you at the next one.